statues of a departed minister, prophecy island. Statues of a departed minister, prophecy island. Over the past seven days, the Lord has been showing me a particular vision of a giant statue. But this giant statue will be in different places. Over the past seven days, I've seen this giant statue in three different places. It doesn't mean that it will be in three different places. It can be in more than three different places. But I've seen it in three different places, this giant statue. So that's why the message is called Statues of a Departed Minister, Prophecy Alert. So what is the message about this? Over the past seven days, the Lord has been showing me a vision of giant statues made to immortalize the memory and the legacy of a departed gospel minister. So according to my conviction, there is nothing particularly wrong in coming up with a statue or a sculpture to immortalize the memory and the good works of a minister of the gospel or someone who did something which was inspirational to society. Just to construct an ordinary stage, to immortalize the memory, and also to serve as a point of teaching or a lesson to, 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 to forthcoming generations or younger generations about the, the virtues of good work, the virtues of holiness, and the virtues of righteousness, and the virtues of prayer. I don't see anything which is wrong. This is my personal conviction. I stand to be corrected. But it's my personal conviction that erecting a statue to commemorate someone who has done good to society, especially for the gospel, there's nothing which is particularly wrong. But we are going somewhere with this message. Let us move. I, however, saw folks show the kind of devotion, honor, and reverence that only the Almighty God deserves. They were showing it to this giant statue. This kind of adoration, happiness. I saw some people in tears. I saw some people kneeling. I saw some people draw near the stage. Like they wanted to feel a certain warmth. And then I saw some people. It was just a few of these people that I saw having certain spiritual experiences. When they were coming near the, what? the stage. In a dream... I saw myself walk along a road leading to an informal market of some sort. Along the road near the market, I saw a statue of this departed gospel minister. I saw different kinds of people visit the statue to see it and take pictures of it. They were using their phones or even cameras, but mostly their phones, to take pictures of this statue including these pictures which are called selfies, where a person takes himself or herself with another person or with something else. <laughs> Let us proceed. But I saw some, some people kneel, pray, meditate, and do acts of worship in front of this giant stage. Let us watch and pray about these things. The message is an alert or warning to the elect members of the body of Christ worldwide. So the elect, when that statue is erected, because the Holy Spirit was telling me that there are people who are actually planning to say, what do we do to immortalize the memory of this man? What do we do to immortalize these leakers? So discussions are already underway. underway. They are already ongoing to immortalize the memory and the leakers, the life and times of this man by constructing a giant statue. A giant statue, which will be a spitting image of this departed minister of the gospel. But the challenge, our brothers and sisters, they love to quickly worship. That's the challenge. And in most cases, they love to quickly worship in wrong places. 
So you can go to that giant statue, be inspired by the life and the times of this person. But don't do any act of worship. Because if you do any act of worship, you would be degenerating that statue for commemorating the life and the times of that departed minister into an iron. It automatically becomes an iron. You kneel in front of that statue or do an act of worship or you do adoration. You express adoration or, you know, adoration or love, which only ought to be afforded a living thing or which only ought to be afforded God. The moment you do that, you are offending God because our God is a jealous God. He demands from us what? Exclusive devotion. Am I saying the erection of these statues is bad? It is not bad. In the vision, I saw these sculptures, sculptured images or statues being erected. They will be larger than life, which means they will be bigger than you and I. They will be giant things. They will be erected very soon. Already discussions are underway. The question is, how did I hear about those discussions? The Holy Spirit showed me. And they said, go and do a prophecy alert. So that they know that it's, it's not only the grave that they are not suppo supposed to kneel in front of. Also the statues, they are not supposed to show any exclusive devotion towards a statue. They should just approach it with a, an attitude of neutrality. Like a person who is going to visit maybe a museum. You don't feel anything. I've never seen people start to have spiritual experiences at a museum. Just take it like that. Be neutral. Don't engineer yourself to a spiritual state. Don't, don't, don't open your heart and you lapse into a spiritual state. Those who are spiritual, who are prophetic, who are Pentecostal, they understand my language. People who are not prophetic or Pentecostal, they may not understand what I'm saying. Don't engineer. I don't have a special word of how to relay what I'm saying. But the word that I can think of is engineer. Don't engineer or condition yourself into a frame of mind where you are now ready to worship. Because as a human being, you can, prepare, you can actually prepare yourself psychologically to worship. Don't prepare yourself to, psychologically to worship when you are visiting that stage. Because when you do so, spiritual entities called evil spirits, they will be looking at people who are in that frame of mind, who are in that frame of heart, who are ready to worship at the earliest instance. And as I say it for the previous message, when it comes to spiritual experiences, evil spirits will supply them. As long as those spiritual experiences will be leading people want astray. So let us watch and pray, my brothers and sisters. May the Almighty God bless you. I release every mighty blessing.